Welcome back, everyone. We're with NDSU <laughs> Dining today, talking about some great options if uh, you want to go vegetarian, vegan. For some cases, we're talking gluten-free as well. I didn't think you could top the uh, three delicious plates uh, that we just talked about, but uh, we have uh, Patty here with us to talk a little bit about a great quesadilla option as well. And you're gonna, we're gonna get to help make it, right? Yes. And so. Um quesadillas this is another thing that we can um, make on the student DIY girls also you can make this easily at home my three-year-old is a picky eater so I noticed that if I can get her involved in cooking it's really great um, because then she can customize and then she's more apt to eat it and it's not just your average grilled cheese sandwich so. right oh good point okay so, so you can DIY at NDSU DIY at your own house yes. okay so first let's talk about some of the uh, options for ingredients that you have here okay so we just have some fresh vegetables we have the Onions here, the corn, black beans, uh, peppers, uh, some green peppers, edamame, that's another source of good protein, and then spinach is a power food. So, And then we just have our cheeses, and then we also have cauliflower rice that we topped this one with. So wow. that's a Spanish cauliflower rice. This is what Spanish cauliflower, or the cauliflower rice looks like. And it just it soaks up flavor, and it's just like rice. And this watching the carbohydrates, if you're watching that, or you're gluten sensitive, it's nice. a great substitute. Okay, so how, this isn't going to take very long either, right? Nope. And so we're just going to put some oil in the pan, and then we just need to put that in there. And then we put just make sure that we put a little bit of garlic for some flavor in there. And then I'll have you put in the veggies. You okay. can just mix this, that in there. Just start rolling them in. Yep. And so this is where you say whether, you know, it's for the students or at home, you just pick the veggies that you like. Yep. Or that your kids like or something like that. And then we have great color as well, so it's yeah. a great variety. And then um, the black you... beans are our protein source. Dump this yep. in too? All right. And then we're just going to stir it up right here and start cooking our vegetables. It smells delicious, and you're right with yeah. the colors. It really is uh, Instagram worthy, right there. Yes, <laughs> and so super simple, um, super flavorful. And then we're going to take once we get this done, we will put the tortilla in here, and then oh, put the cheese on. Nice. So yeah, oh. so we gotta saute the veggies to get um, <clears throat> some of the uh, flavor out. And then enhance the, like we got some caramelized onions in here flavor mm -hmm. now, and some spinach, and it makes for a beautiful um, option. But the students really like this as well, and we have this in the grill area, so. So they can actually, everybody can use their own grill? Yeah, so we have a DIY grill, and it's specifically for students to make their own options. We have different options, like spinach, um, different vegetables and then we also have our salad bar that you can grab from so it's just kind of getting the students to think outside the box and get creative with their food so I love that yeah so then we'll take this off and pour on the plate here if we want to hold the tortilla and then put this right here and then we will put the quesadilla back in there okay and then we'll put our cheese nice. on there as well. And then this is also customizable. So we have, um, you could put whatever kind of cheese you like to melt around. And then I have just cheddar here and then some mozzarella cheese. And that is kind of a Colby Jack mix, but you can get different flavors of cheese in the grocery store for flavor as well. And then sometimes if you want to dress it up, you could do like a goat cheese and spinach quesadilla even at home. Yeah. So. And I love beautiful. it. It's very customizable in case you said you just talked about one picky child, but if you have a couple, I mean, yep. you, I like how you have everything out in the cups and they pick and choose yep. and they can put whatever they want. And they, they love want. it. So then we're just going to put the veggies on here until our cheese melts on one side over here. It's easy. Yeah. Super simple, easy, doesn't take very much time because we don't have a lot of time. Yeah. The average person doesn't have a lot of time running around for things. And so we just let our cheese melt and then we fold it over and then it makes this quesadilla, so. I love it. Beautiful. I think I know what I'm gonna make at my house tonight for supper as well. Patty Vetter with the uh, NDSU Dining Services. I love this. And once again, whether you're a vegetarian or not, uh, I feel like this would hit the spot for yeah. a lot of people. Yep. And, and kids too. And if you know what, if you want, although we're talking vegetarian meals, you can put some chicken in there. Yep. Definitely. I mean, if you want to tweak your uh, yes. recipe a little yep. bit here.
great stuff. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Stay with us uh, coming up next here on North Dakota Today. We're talking with TNT Kids Fitness.